Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Caitlin. You guys What's all know her. <laughs> We're gonna do a girl talk video. I've been getting this video requested so much. So I asked you guys on Instagram some girl talk questions. Let's just get right into it. So Caitlin hasn't read any of the questions, uh -uh. but <laughs> I've like kind of told her a lot of more about like periods and <laughs> so anyway, let's just get, get into the first one. How do you deal with insecurities? So everyone has like deals with insecurities, right? Yeah, I have mine, I'll tell them. Uh -huh. I have insecurities, but how do you deal with them? Like I've gained weight the last couple of years. And so I'm obviously like, oh man, I wish I looked better or, but one thing I deal with it is I just wear clothes that fit me. I used to just like try and squeeze into like the size pants I was like, you know, before. Mm -hmm. And I just, it doesn't look good on you. It like makes you have like, it like digs into your chub and so it hangs over your jeans. So I've realized if I just wear the size that fits me right now, mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable and I look better. Yeah. And I also will like, I love baggy things like cozy sweatshirts and t-shirts. I mean, my style is already pretty like leisure, basic. Uh, like, yeah. so I have like no problem, but that's what I do is like, I wear clothes that look good on my figure. Uh -huh. And then I really, then I don't have problems with it. Totally. Yeah. For me, I feel like I've always struggled with my skin being bad. So I've like figured out ways to cover up makeup. Mm -hmm. Not that you have to cover up your acne at all, but just like do things that make you feel more confident. So for Caitlyn, it's buying clothes that fit her body yeah. type now. And for me, I love to wear makeup, not only to cover up my acne because I am embarrassed about it. I had my skin's pretty good now, but then also like taking care of yourself by using like good face products and stuff. Yeah. So just do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel better. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I remember when like it was going into winter time and you were just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go treat myself and get some new foundation. Yeah, and then just- Even though your skin was good, but it's just like sometimes you know if I... you just splurge a little bit on something that helps you feel better. Okay, well, yeah. So take that time for self care and like you can splurge on yourself yeah. to help you feel more confident. Totally. Um, you don't have to wear makeup if you have acne. I, I just like, feel better when I cover it up. You yeah, know? and that's how you deal with your insecurities. Yeah. Someone else can do it a totally different way. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. And I, no one has the same insecurities. Yeah. And like, most people won't see your insecurities, but everyone's more hard on them. So, yeah, like, totally. Like you say, you don't really ever notice my acne, but like no, I notice because yeah. I'm always looking in the mirror, you know? Someone the other day told me they had like a mole on their face, and I yeah. literally had no idea until they told me. So sometimes not telling someone you have a zit is probably better. Sometimes <laughs> That's our first thing we do is like want to expose ourselves yeah. when in reality a lot of people are worrying about themselves totally. more and how you know anyways yep that was a good one yeah okay worst period story oh <laughs> i have mine so i was in seventh grade i had just started my period it was like probably i think it was the week i had started my period for the first time ever so i didn't know much about periods i didn't realize i had it Okay, also my mom gave me panty liners for when I first started my period. She didn't give me pads or tampons. She literally gave me panty liners. So you know how you girls bleed through panty liners so quick. Yeah. Like they're just not, they don't hold anything. So I was wearing a panty liner, I was in class and I stood up to go ask the teacher something and I look at my chair, my chair had blood all over it. No. And so, yes. So I had a substitute teacher and I didn't know what, I didn't want to tell anyone. So I literally Did you have a skirt on or something? I had jeans on. So it had blood through your jeans? Yeah. Oh my. So, Bessie, what were you thinking? I know. She's like, I didn't know what to do. Um, anyway, so I grabbed my backpack. I just run out of the class. I hope the boy next to me, he was like one of my best friends. I was hoping he didn't look at my chair to see that the blood was on the chair. I was so embarrassed. I didn't tell anyone that I had blood on my chair, but I oh ran to the office, heart. called my mom, and my mom took me home and I got, got cleaned up and stuff. Oh my. But isn't that terrible? That actually reminds me of a story. Okay, so. Tell well, I don't know if it's true, it could be like a myth, but like it's a Facebook story. So I saw it like this little like story on Facebook uh -huh. and this boy, so it was like elementary school slash like middle school and this girl must have like walked past and he had maybe noticed. Uh -huh. She had blood through her pants and he was like, hey, do you want my sweatshirt to like put around her waist? Uh -huh. She's like, oh no, it's okay. And he's like, no, like take my sweatshirt. So when she got off the bus, she had like the sweatshirt around her waist so yeah. no one would tell and I just remember being like like I want my sons to be like that yeah. like it's not weird everyone does it all these boys who are weird about it guess what they're gonna get married someday to maybe girls who knows whatever their preference is but like they're gonna have to deal with it and with their daughters so yeah. 
yeah. like, no matter what, everyone's gotta get used to this. Totally. And anyways, my period story is I had just started my period and I did not, I grew up with all brothers and yeah. so I didn't want to say anything. And my mom, like, I didn't want to be like a big deal of it. Uh -huh. So I didn't tell her for like three months. I would just go like in her stash and use her, like use her stuff. <laughs> And then after like three months, I was like, mom, it's not a big deal. I started my period a couple months ago. She's like, I freaking knew because all my stuff was like disappearing every month. And I was like, yeah, that's so but that funny. just showed like, I hate like, like, yeah. Mm, I just, yeah, didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some of our period stories. How old were you when you got your first boyfriend? I was literally, I was like in seventh, sixth grade, but I don't, I don't really, I feel like they were boyfriends. It has to be like, like the little, real deal, like yeah. go on dates, drive My places. first like actual boyfriend was probably when I was 16. Okay. Because we could go on dates and stuff. But otherwise, I feel like they were just crushes, but you call Yeah, them and you boyfriend. meet up at school and you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> they hugged yeah. each other in the hallway. <laughs> Definitely 16, I feel like. Okay, and who was it? Um, oh my gosh. I don't even want to say the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say mine because like, I mean, you know people from high school That's here. True. You guys just are like, Kaylin's new here. That's true. I was 16 and his name was Austin Eckel and he was the cutest guy. Yeah, he was so nice, so cute funny like I literally was like why does he want to date me like that's how much I thought he was like amazing and then we dated and I was like wait what am I cooler than I really am I don't know <laughs> but <laughs> that's yeah so, funny. so we were both 16 when we ate. yeah I like 16 you are driving by then yeah so, so you like go to their house then it comes yours harder. yeah totally and like it doesn't make as much sense yeah true because it's just I don't know okay but how do you manage your stress Ugh, I don't <laughs> I know I have Caitlin help me out with that. <laughs> you know, you're not a very stressful person. Yeah, I, I try like not to once be. we like but plan, if we don't have things planned out, then, then she I stresses. Stress. I but just we just, plan. We just did that today. We're really so good at planning. Yeah, we have highlighters, we write in pencils, so we can erase and yeah. not feel bad about things. Sometimes when you have to cancel things, you're like, ah, oh, but like you just erase it. And I was like, it was never there. Totally. I feel like I'm a checklist person, so I yes. have to write things down and I like to physically be able to That's check how it you off. and Boston are the same that way. Uh -huh. They have to have their month ready to go so they know what to look forward each day, have a plan, cross things off. Yeah. Me, I think I like to read. But I feel me managing my stress is kind of like Alyssa is like checking things off. Yeah. My friend Candace is like the day before or the morning of like write down what you need to get done for the day and cross it off because if you just think of it in your head, you're, you're gonna lay gonna in remember. bed and your friend's gonna text you like, oh hey, like did you forget about this? And you're like, oh my, and that makes yeah. you more stressed. It's true. So check off all the things. Checklist is good. When did you start wearing makeup? When I was 12. I feel like I I think I was 12 too. I was in sixth grade. Yeah. But I did. It was like mascara and that's when I started. Kind of getting bad skin so i put a little dot of concealer okay but that was all my mom really let me wear i think i had like and all i knew how to wear i feel like i had the most random makeup like my mom took me to clinique and we got like powder uh -huh. and then blush and mascara but i never even wore it like even in high school i didn't wear makeup yeah and then when I got to college, I don't even know if I wore makeup. I don't know, you guys. I just started wearing- Caitlin just has naturally like perfect skin, so. Well, today I actually did makeup because I was like, it's been a while since I've like felt really good. So I was like, you know what? Makeup always does the trick. Totally. And so today I wore it, but I think I did have stuff popping up like. So just randomly. Like... Anyway, so I just needed it today, but I, it's so sporadic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you prefer tampons or pads? So I used to be scared of wearing tampons. Yeah, now everyone kind of is. I prefer tampons. I Just like because I don't like sitting in my. I don't think I've worn a pad since like middle school. Yeah, but that's just me. Like. Do whatever, whatever you want. You, whatever you're more comfortable with. I literally was so scared to wear tampons for the longest time, but they're just so much easier. You kind of they're forget so your easy. Period. You can go swimming. You yeah. can play sports and everything. I just like if that's what you like. Like you can't even tell you're wearing pads yeah. anyway. So if you're worried about like having people know you're on your period, yeah. you can't. Like when I would wear them, I was so worried. Like does it look like I'm wearing one? And it never does. Yeah. You're fine either way. Yeah. Whatever you prefer. Yes. Yeah. But that's just what Perfect we prefer. For you. Yeah. Tips for period cramps. Oh. Um, I, a lot of times I'll work out and that helps get rid of them. Yeah. But it's hard because you don't want to work out because you're in so much pain. Yeah, it, it, I think that helps with endometriosis. Uh -huh. So if like you have been diagnosed with that or your periods are very, very, very bad, 
I know that working out does help. I don't have endometriosis or bad cramps or anything. I think I was taking some sort of pain medicine like Tylenol or ibuprofen, but one is better than the other and right now I can't think of it. Yeah. But I was taking one and someone's like, that doesn't Heating really... pads are always super nice. I don't too. really have bad ones, so I don't really know. I would have the worst, but working out and like heating pads, ibuprofen, whatever. Drinking water, eating oh, yeah. a little bit better. Yep. Okay, how to tell a guy you think he's cute when you're super shy and scared too? <laughs> you go first, because I got the best story for after this. Oh man. I don't know, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I have the best story. Okay, I'm gonna you, try and make go. it I'm gonna try and make it so quick. So, I was a senior in high school, and I had just moved the year before, so I was still kind of like the new kid, no one like, whatever. Yeah. I'm at this basketball game with my friends, and this dude kept turning around and like making eye contact with me. I remember you told me, it's so like, keep going, sorry. Okay, and he kept like turning around, I was like, oh, and I looked good that, I had like a fake leather jacket on, <laughs> with like a purple hoodie coming out, with like some shirt from PacSun, skinny jeans and Vans, so I was like, I was feeling myself. <laughs> and I was like, like he kept turning around. And it was a Friday night and my friends were coming to spend the night after. And I remember like being like, guys, did you notice like that kid kept looking at me? And they're like, yeah, I kept seeing that too. And we went home and I was like, gosh, should I message him on Facebook? Cause I'm like, Ooh, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram was like Not kind of thing. coming, but like no one had it yet. Yeah, yeah. Or like maybe it was when I got to college. It was like 2011 yeah. or 2010. So I was like, if I shoot my shot and nothing happens, he's that kid that does half high school, half college. Uh -huh. So like he graduates with like an associates and a high school diploma. So I was like, if I shoot my shot and nothing happens, I'll never have to see him again. Cause like he doesn't really go to school. Yeah. Anyways, so I shoot my shot and I was like, hey, I saw you taking like a couple of looks at me at the basketball game. <laughs> like here's my number. And he was like, okay. And it was like the next day. So like we had no response the rest of the night. We're all like, spending the night with each other. And then he was like, okay. And I was like, well, that didn't work. <laughs> like I shot my shot, nothing happened. I go to school on Monday and it's a new term. And I go to my first period. It was senior English and he freaking walks through the door. And I was like, <gasps> no. Like, I guess I was in one of his classes. I was still at high school and we had never brought it up. That's so Not once. We just pretended like nothing happened. And then my teacher <laughs> knew the story because I told her. It's like, because it was funny and we we're kind of close. And she would always sit us next to each other. That is so funny. That's my story. <laughs> so shoot your shot. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Are you on birth control? No. Nope. I am, but I'm married. Yeah. And I'm not trying to have kids. If you, if I was, I probably wouldn't be on birth control, but. Yeah, I'm not married, so. Or having sex, <laughs> so. Yeah, if you're not. <laughs> it it is. Vibin. Sometimes people are on birth control for Accutane and stuff, so yeah. it's kind of normal. Or, or I heard, heavy periods. Yeah, or, or heavy periods. Acne, so some people, yeah. even if they're not, they're still on it. Whatever. But not me. It's good to be on it if whatever, whatever, because it's safe. Yep. So. Do you track your period? Yes, she I, got me on an app. Yeah. It's called Clue, not sponsored, but I love it. I just love to know when I'm on my period. I don't like surprises, you know? Yeah, and then it helps you be prepared. So it's like, oh, my period's coming up. I'll stick yeah. some tampons in like my car or- Or my purse or- Yeah, or your bag or whatever. And so when you start, you're like, oh, I'm good. I have stuff. Like nothing's worse when you're out and about and you start and you're like, wait, what? Yeah. So yeah, I started using a tracker. I've been on and off of trackers. I used to use one and then now I'm back using a tracker because it is nice to know when to expect it. Yep, I totally agree. So I use one clue. That's what I recommend, but yeah. That was a good girl's talk. That was a good Sorry girl's I like talk. took over with all my stories. No, I love it. <laughs> Caitlin always has good stories. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to see another girl talk video, we can definitely do that because you guys have so many questions for us to answer. But we need new ones. We not need all new periods. Ones. We need like yeah. we need like regular ones. Yeah, I agree. Avoid Everyone all those just wants girls. to know all the. I know. <laughs> That's true. To see like, because sometimes you think you're the only one, but it's like, yeah. no, dude, we all That's have true. weird periods every now and again. So, yeah. or all the time, and you just need to go to the lady doctor. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. See ya.